Okay, I'm going to unpause the chat. What that say? This is from Woman of Judah. It says, uh, Shabbat Shalom, elders. Uh, the weather storm. Okay, I'm going to pause it so I can get each question, then I'll open again. Go ahead. It says, the weather storm this weekend, uh, any info on that? I saw them speaking about deployment on TV. I don't have anything about that, but usually sometimes they use the the patterns and, and the weather as a uh, as an excuse to cover for, for other things they're doing. Some, huh? Yeah, I heard it's supposed to be bad. I think the storms sometimes are a cover so that you can stay in the house while they do certain things. Uh, they do that all the time when it comes to drilling and doing something that normally the population would be against. They'll have these storms, so you're in the house looking at TV or something, and they're doing all types of things outside. They're still working in certain areas. Um, the other thing is that, that that's kind of deep is they knew that when they did this so-called oil spill that and put coexin in the waters, uh, millions of tons of coexin in the water, they knew that it would stop the the regular current of the, the Gulf Stream, which control the weathering patterns throughout the whole earth, believe it or not. The majority of the earth outside of the Mediterranean area is controlled through the Gulf Stream. So they understood that would change weather patterns also. You have droughts when, it, when it's hot and when it gets cold, you have an ice age. It's freezing when it gets cold. So all this also correlates with man-made uh, uh, weather. Uh, what's the next here? This is Child of God 85. They are chipping people in the Philippines and now most of them are going into hiding in the mountains. They are chipping people in the Philippines and now most of them are going into hiding in the mountains. I think I've seen something on that uh, about five months ago. And what they're doing is they're not going into the Philippine cities to do this, where there's a high population. Uh, instead, uh, they're going into remote villages where there's not, you know, there's no fanfare or, or not enough media to, to actually uh, publicize or bring attention to what they're doing. So they, they're looking to, a matter of fact, they're doing this to a lot of little villages that are outside of the city. See, the cities are more so they can be controlled and toppled at any time. But now they're doing this in remote villages like in the Philippines. That is correct. Again, the Filipino people are from the children of Israel, tribe of Naphtali. They are our people. All right, who else here? Says, uh, uh, this is Sponge for Truth. It says, Shalom, elders. I'm living in Toronto, Canada. Where? Yeah. Uh, right here. Okay. I'm living in uh, Toronto, Canada, and I'm looking to get baptized. I sent an email a few a few times and never got a response. Do you have anyone in this area that is authorized to do baptism? We have one brother that usually called on the shows. He's been going all through Toronto in different areas to baptize. I'll tell you what, so send your information. We'll get it to Gabara in New York and we'll make sure someone get to you. Uh, what's the next one? Uh, this is the chem. It says, who are the Indians in India according to the Bible? The Indians in India, okay, you have some who are Elam. You got a large number of them who are Israel and some of them are Japhetic. Okay, so there's three separate families within that whole region. Uh, the original people of that region were Elamites from Elam. Okay, but you have some Asian blood through Japheth there, and you have a large number of our people who are there in the ghettos. Okay, who else? What else we got here? Uh, this is I found so first. it's not just one people there, so to speak. But the original landmass was Elamites. Go ahead. It says, uh, I found Christ. Uh, so, Elder, a higher will willing, most of us make it to the wilderness. As long as we follow the laws, we are good un under the rod. That is correct. The key point is 
following the law, statutes, and commandments, doing what the Most High say, so that the Holy Spirit can guide you into what you would need to do.